Hi, class, and welcome to sewing the bo the bustier. Um, on this one, I only have the self and the lining. I combine the lining and the foundation. So for my self fabric, I've already fused it. Before I begin sewing, I measure the seams where the boning will go on because I need to attach my boning casing. So here I sleep out the boning. I just pull it out of the casing and then I'm going to lay the casing on the seam to basically measure the length that I'll need and I will cut it and then I will insert the boning later. You can also do it with the boning but it's easier for me to measure this way so I took the boning out but you don't have to take out the boning. So now I simply lay the casing on the seam measuring and then I will cut it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sew all my seams together. So I don't have a princess seam in the back, so I just attach my side front and my center front on both sides. And then I attach my back piece to um, the front at the side seams. I do this for myself, which also has my interfacing. And now I do this for my lining. I'm basically sewing all the pieces together, except for the center back. That is the one seam I will not sew together. Once all my seams are done, I go over to my pressing table and I press open all my seams making sure that they are flat and open because I will be sewing my casing on to them. Once that is done, I go ahead and I begin to stitch down my casing. So basically I lay my casing directly down the center of that seam and then I stitch on top of the stitching of my casing, basically stitching it down to my pressed open seam, down the center of that seam. So I'm going to stitch all the way from the top to the bottom and when I'm done with one side, I'm going to back stitch and then go ahead and do it on the other side. So once that is done, I basically measure from the edge of my neckline. I'm going to measure down half an inch, um, place a mark there because I'm going to double stitch it to close it. Um, the reason why I'm measuring half an inch down from the neckline is because I do not want the boning to touch my quarter inch seam allowance because um, it's going to make it very bulky. So I want to make sure I stop the boning from going all the way to that point. So that's why I measured half an inch. You can also do three eighths. That would actually be better, um, but I did half an inch. Once that is done, I slip in my boning into the casing. And once it gets to the very top and it can't go past that point, I pull it out just a little bit. Maybe I would say like a quarter of an inch or half an inch out. Just pull it out just a little bit. And then I snip it and cut it and then push it back up and then double stitch at my half an inch point again to basically make sure that my casing is not dancing around on the inside of my bustier. So I basically sealed the top of the casing and the bottom by double stitching by going over it, um, forward stitch and backward stitch a couple times just to hold it in place. And then I am done attaching the boning. Once that is done, I go ahead and inspect and make sure that 
my garments are well sewn together my boning is okay everything is cool and so now right sides to right sides i'm going to um lay my lining over myself and then i'm going to stitch it only at the neckline at the and the hem um for the neckline we're going to stitch it at a quarter inch seam allowance and then we'll go over that seam again um basically doing an under stitch um with the excess of the um, sewing going towards the lining but we will not be doing an under stitch for the hem and yes we haven't sewn the center back you should still have your center back open once you're done um stitching it together don't forget to under stitch notice how i am pushing my excess towards the lining and just stitching basically going over the seam that i just sewed but making sure that everything was open and wide and now i'm doing the hem Once this is done, you want to go ahead and just fold your center back in by the seam allowance that you have. So mine was half an inch, so I'm folding it back half an inch and I'm going to press this down. If it's one inch, fold yours one inch inside and then press it down. And once you've done that, don't forget to flip it over to the other side and repeat these steps again, folding it and pressing it. Once that's done, we have one more step and we are completely done, which is we are going to take that seam and then we are going to basically do a top stitch at an eighth seam allowance. So very, very close to the edge, we're just going to do a top stitch holding those two, the center back together so it doesn't open. So that I don't have to return to the... Um, pressing board numerous times i'm just going to go ahead and press my bustier now um, i'm not going to go over the bust because if i do that then it's going to make it crinkly unless i have like you know something like a mold a pressing mold that i can you know use to make sure that i press that nice and circular i'm not going to press it um, I'll just put it on the dress room and steam it. And here is where we basically add the finishing touches by top stitching the area that we just folded. And once that's done on both sides, we are completely done with the bustier. So here is my finished work. You can see everything is nice and clean and yeah, perfect. And this is it on the dress form.